Hello students, welcome to 60 out of 60 in KSET Chemistry 2025 series in just 200 days. So today we are going to discuss about the part 2 of hydrocarbons which will include regarding isomerism and the conformations of alkanes, right. So in the previous class I have taught you in detail regarding the nomenclature and classification. So in today's class we will be doing conformations and isomerism, okay. So let us get started here uh, students. So one second, okay. Okay, you can see here this is the part 2, okay. So, in part 2 we are discussing isomerism and conformations as I told you this chapter will be little lengthy, okay. So, these are all things we have to cover in different different classes. So, weightage you can see 1 to 2 questions you can expect every year but as I told you these 2 chapters organic chemistry, some basic principles and hydrocarbons are the base of your organic chemistry. So, do not miss this chapter at all, okay. Fine. Now, we will go to the next, okay, here, so students, here I want to introduce you towards our uh, KSET. Uh, so, see, if you want to get rank in KSET, right, you have to do equally well in your PU2 examinations. So, there are so many courses available for KSET, but no one actually thinks about the PU2. So, here is where the Diksha has come to help you with PU2 success blueprint test series where you will be getting 12 mock tests which includes 4 part tests and 8 full length papers, one shot revision videos, doubt clarification classes as well as you will also be getting the uh, detailed video solutions with detailed explanation, okay. Now you might see that the price is 599 for all this but yes since Christmas is going on and New Year is coming so we have given you a special discount on this. If you use the coupon AISH100, okay, then you can avail this everything for just 499 rupees. So students please do not miss this opportunity because the sale or this discount is valid only till December 28th. Okay, so please make this offer like use, uh, make use of this offer and go to the description section, click on the registration button and purchase the test series before 28th of December. Okay, you have just few days left. Fine, let us go to our class today. So, in today's class, sorry, in today's class we are going to discuss isomerism in alkanes and conformations of alkanes, okay. So, first of all coming to isomerism. So, all of you, we have already discussed this in the organic chemistry chapter also. So, isomerism means what? Same molecular formula but they will have different structures, right. So, for example, if you see type so, I will be telling you examples. Now, let us see uh, types of carbon, okay. So, what is this types of carbon? Now, carbons are of two types, prime, sorry, carbons are of four types, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary, okay. So, I will not explain any statement and also please understand through example. If you have one carbon attached to only another one carbon, means for example, this carbon is attached to one more carbon, okay. So, for example, CH3, CH3. This particular carbon, if you see it is attached to only one more carbon, so this is a primary carbon. Now, this carbon is attached to only one more carbon, so this is also primary carbon. Now, secondary carbon means, suppose I have a structure like this, okay. Now, if you see this carbon, it is attached to one more carbon, so this is primary. This carbon is attached to two carbons, so it is secondary and this carbon is attached to only one carbon, so this is also primary, right. Now, this particular carbon is attached to two carbons, so it is secondary carbon. Now, if you see one more structure, okay. Here if you see this particular carbon is attached to one carbon, so it is primary. This carbon is attached to one more carbon, this is primary. This carbon is attached to one more carbon, this is primary. But if you talk about this carbon, it is attached to three other carbons, right. So that means this is tertiary carbon, okay. Now let us see one more example. Just a minute, yes. Now you can see this carbon is attached to four different carbons, so it is quaternary and all other carbons are attached to one carbon, so it is primary, okay. So that is all about types of carbon. Now let us talk about isomerism, isomers of butane, okay. I will give you examples through which you can understand. Now butane structure or formula if you know it is C4H10, okay. So now if I make butane chain, we have like this CH3. 
okay this is one structure of butane now i can have another structure of butane like this you can just see okay so if i name them this will be normal butane and this one will be 2 methyl propane right 2 methyl propane so what you can observe here you can see uh, sorry one second i did a small mistake in the structure here this won't be there we have only okay so now what you can see here the parent chain is of four carbons here the parent chain is of only three carbons right so because you can see the number of carbons number of carbons in the parent chain is different we call this as chain isomers okay now let us see the next question you have to do the isomers of pentane okay so let us see one example is pentane formula is c5 h12 okay so one thing what we can do is simple five carbons one two three four five carbons okay this is done another you can do is four carbons right so what i'll do i'll put like this okay four carbons in one chain can we try something with three carbons on one chain mm, yes let me do like this yes this is also possible right any other structure is possible no right we will get these two structures five carbons four carbons and three carbons so what is the IUPAC name of this one this is the general normal pentane right here if I want to write the substituent it will be 2 methyl uh, butane I think because you can see four carbons are there so 2 methyl butane and here if you see it is propane so 2 2 dimethyl 2 2 dimethyl propane ok clear fine now let us see the next question you have to do the isomers of hexane ok let us try this question now so hexane is C6 H14 right so I will just draw the skeletal structure now so if I have like this there is 6 carbons in one chain that is done next I can do 5 carbons in one chain ok and in this 5 carbon I will place the 6th carbon here ok that is one possibility see this name will be what 2 methyl hexane right but there can be another also like this where I will put third carbon on this particular uh, third carbon like the sixth the last carbon on third carbon then what will be name here 3 methyl hexane sorry 3 methyl uh, name is wrong here parent chain is of 5 carbons right so 2 methyl pentane and I will also get here 3 methyl pentane ok so now I got with 6 carbon chain 5 carbon 2 I got now let me try to do 4 carbon chain ok and I want to add 5th and 6th carbon right so I can add like this 5th and 6th carbon will it give me anything 1 2 3 4 5 now if you see like this this one and this one structure is same right so I cannot add like this I have to erase this one ok so I can add like this fourth car four carbon chain fifth and sixth carbon are like this or I can do like this this is also possible right so what I will get here this is your 2 3 dimethyl butane right and this is 2 2 dimethyl butane okay now can we have any other structure I do not think any other structure is possible or we can have something like this 3 carbonate draw and rest 3 if I draw like this then 1 2 3 4 this is same as this one okay so these are the isomers I have drawn for 2 methyl sorry hexane okay so this is one example where you can see so many isomers all of them 
molecular formula is same but their IUPAC names are different, their structures are different, right. So, these type of compounds are called as isomers, okay. So, now let us see next you have to draw the isomers of C5H11OH. So, this is your homework. So, you have to tell me how many isomers you will be getting here, okay. So, this is your homework question. I will be telling you the answer for this one in the next class, okay. So, C5H11OH. Just tell me the number of total isomers you will be getting in this particular compound, okay. So, I want all of you to comment down the answer for this question, how many number of isomers for particular this compound you are getting, you need to tell me, okay. I already told you how to do, so you can do that, fine. Now, coming to confirmations, okay. Confirmations means what we will first understand, then how to draw confirmations, we will see, okay. So, first of all, what are confirmers? See. The spatial arrangement of atoms which can be converted into one another by rotation around a CC single bond are called confirmations or confirmers or rotamers, okay. So, what is it? So, when you have, when you are able to get different, different arrangement of the atoms just by rotating carbon, carbon single bond, what we obtain is called as confirmers. Next. So, you can get infinite number of confirmations by rotation around the CC single bond, okay. There are infinite number of confirmations possible. Next, so this rotation is hindered by a small energy barrier of 1 to 20 kilojoule per mole due to weak repulsive interactions between the adjacent bonds, okay. Such a type of repulsive interaction is called as torsional strain. So, when we uh, rotate, okay. So, there are repulsions between the bond pair. So, due to these repulsions, we get a small energy we need to provide while rotation and that energy varies between 1 to 20 kilojoule and this repulsive forces is called as your torsional strain, okay. Okay. Now, we will go confirmations of ethane, okay. So, one second, just a minute. So, now we will see the confirmers of ethane, okay. So, if I see the structure of ethane, what is it? Simple, right? Two carbons are there and we have this hydrogen-hydrogen bond, carbon-hydrogen bond, right? So, now in case of sawhorse, okay, this CC bond we sew like this, okay. This is your C, C bond and we sew the H like this. These are the first carbon three hydrogens attached. And these are the second carbon, three hydrogens attached, okay. Now, you see when H and H are exactly uh, like uh, I can say back of each other, such type of configuration is called as eclipsed configuration, confirmers eclipsed, okay. Now, what, what I will do, I will rotate 1 to 120 degree, okay. So, I have like this, okay. And another I will just rotate, so this one will come here, this one will come here and this one will come here. So, I will get a structure like this, okay. So, now this one is called as what? This one is called as staggered configuration, staggered confirmer, okay. Where you find a difference or where the H are opposite to each other, okay. This is in sawhorse projection. In Newman, what we can do? We can just rem remember, so in Newman, two carbons are represent one with a dot and one with a circle. So, the first one is having three hydrogens, right. And the backside carbon is also having three hydrogens just below it. So, this is the eclipsed form in Newman projection, okay, eclipsed in Newman projection. Now, if this one, if I draw in this way, okay, so you have one H here, one H here and one H here and you can just rotate this hydrogen or the back one like this. The back carbon you have rotated like this, then this one is called as staggered confirmer, okay. But in Newman case, right. So, this is how you can represent Sawhurst and Eclipse confirmers of ethane, okay. Now, we will go to the stability. What is the stability? Which one, whether staggered is more stable or your uh, Eclipse is more stable to understand that. So, let us see the points first. See, the repulsive interaction between the electron clouds which affects the stability of the conformation is called as the torsional strain, okay. So, the repulsion, where do we find repulsion? So, if you go back, see, uh, there is repulsion between 
दिस बॉन्ड पेयर एंड दिस बॉन्ड पेयर और दिस बॉन्ड पेयर एंड दिस बॉन्ड पेयर दिस बॉन्ड पेयर एंड दिस बॉन्ड पेयर दिस बॉन्ड पेयर एंड दिस बॉन्ड पेयर ओके सो दिस रिपल्शन इज कॉल्ड एज टॉर्शनल स्ट्रेन ओके नेक्स्ट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द टॉर्शनल स्ट्रेन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द एंगल ऑफ रोटेशन बिटवीन द सी सी बॉन्ड हाउ मच यू हैव रोटेटेड इट ओके सो नाउ इफ आई गो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर ओके so here what is the angle between if i see eclipsed conformation the angle between cc is 0 degree right so this is 0 degree oh one second this is 0 degree yeah this one is 0 degree and now if i see here the carbon carbon i have rotated by 60 degree right if you just rotate by 60 degree you will reach here right so the angle of rotation is 60 degree here so the torsional strain will depend on the angle of rotation next is this angle is called as dihedral angle or torsional angle okay so now if i talk about stability so if because in uh, staggered configuration the groups the bond pairs are far away from each other so staggered conformation okay is more stable than eclipsed form okay next okay so that's all in this class so i have already told you about the pu2 success blueprint test series so if you can if you want flat rupees 100 off you can use this coupon aish 100 and get rupees all the test series are just 499 rupees and this is available till december 28th so do not delay go to the description section click on the link and purchase the test series as soon as possible so that's all in this class students so i hope you have enjoyed today's class you have understood the uh, uh, the content of this class and just let me know if you have any doubt and see you soon in the next class do not forget to subscribe the channel